excuse my roughness appearance. Um, I when we do arts and crafts, y'all know it we look a mess. So anyway, I'm here to show you how I press my glitters. This probably is like one of the most requested videos ever on my channel. Like you guys on my Instagram. I mean, you when I told you guys I was pressing my glitters, um, and I was showing you like you know the finished products and stuff on Instagram, and you everyone's like, oh, we need a video, we need a video. And then when I did my face of the reviews wearing some glitter, we need a video. Show us how you do it. There are a few other how to press glitter tutorials on YouTube. And actually, when I was figuring out how to press my glitters, like, when I realized I could do it, I actually didn't find a YouTube video. I went to iMats, and I picked up some of these pressed glitters from NBA Cosmetics. This one here is called Marigold, and this is a pressed glitter. And I went to iMats, and I was like, oh, God, like, they have pressed glitter. Okay? Now, I'm going to... Try to educate and tell you everything you need to know. If you don't know what I mean by pressed, I mean pressed into a pan. Compacted into a pan versus loose like something in a jar, like glitter here in a jar um, or in a bottle, something like that. So pressed is easier to work with. It, I guess, performs just like an eyeshadow. Some glitters you would still need an adhesive to use, but it's just a lot less messy than a loose shadow loose glitter i'm sorry and they don't fall out or anything but they're still just that glitter they're still glitter now there's a difference in pressing glitter that you have like um pigmented eyeshadows that may be sparkly i mean glitter cosmetic glitter so i'm going to go ahead and show you how i do it i'm going to show you everything you would need and i'm going to talk about that really quick and then i'll show the process because it's actually really easy and r fairly quick um to do so well, waiting isn't, but... Okay, anyway. So, this is, again, my glitter palette. I want to show you guys. This is my glitter palette. I made this. These first four are the four I bought from IMAX, NBA Cosmetics. We said I really like that one. These first four. The other 31, I pressed them myself. Um, oh, crap. My camera tripod just dug into one. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, but... Okay, whatever, that's not the point of this. Anyway, so I pressed them myself, and yeah, I had a great time. Um, it's really, again, it's really easy. So when I decided, <coughs> wow, excuse me, um, when I decided to do this, I went on Google, and I was like, all right, press glitters, and I came across a kind of a universal set of ingredients, a universal recipe, and I'm going to tell you about it, so, that's what I started doing, so the first batch of glitters I did with, like, the homemade cheap, before I wanted to order real materials, so I'm going to go ahead and just go through all of it and explain, so the first thing you're going to need, obviously, is glitter, make sure it is cosmetic great glitter. Do not use craft glitter and press it for your eyes. It's really, can be really damaging to your eyes, even if you don't have sensitive eyes like me. The glitter, um, is a lot less finely milled. It's just not safe, and it'll just, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. There's a lot of cosmetic great glitters. Uh, my favorite glitters, uh, glitter company is Eye Candy. I actually, I picked these glitters up at IMAX. This is the shade Taffy. It's the rose gold I was actually wearing in, um, that face, my last face of the day in reviews video. Can't really see it through here, but... It's a rose gold glitter. Um, I'll link Eye Candy's website down below. The next, um, another recommendation. This glitter is the one we're going to press today. It is from Grafton. It's going to fly everywhere if I open it. And it's called Putting on the Glitz. It's just this pretty purple. I actually, I don't have this pressed by itself. So, I'm going to go ahead and press that one. And then, I don't know why you can find this online. I'm assuming Grafton website. I don't know. Um, but then... I ordered some glitters from Amazon. These are the J Cat Beauty loose glitters. I do know NYX has glitters. I haven't tried those yet. But these are the J Cat Beauty glitters, and you can get a pack of 12 different colored glitters for like 17 bucks on Amazon. I'll link that Amazon link down below if you want these glitters. So, mm hmm. You need glitter. You need glitter. Now on to pressing materials. You're going to need some pan to press them in. You do not have to use a 26 millimeter pan. This is the standard size pan of an eyeshadow. You know, a MAC, Makeup Geek, a single eyeshadow, Coastal Sense Hot Pot. Standard size 26 millimeter. So I want them the same size as any other normal eyeshadow. So I chose 26 millimeter pans. Now you can get these one of two ways. You can have an old palette for an example. This is an old. But like my BH Cosmetics. What the hell? My BH Cosmetics foiled eye palette that the BH Cosmetics palettes, um, their glue is really, really loose. That's why I said what the hell, because my shadows are falling out. Um, this, this palette, 
like something like this and you can scrape out um like old eyeshadows and clean up make sure you clean out the pans scrape it out really well and you can use those pans. If you want to buy fresh pans, you can do eBay, Amazon. I do recommend a website called TKB Trading. They sell all types of DIY your own makeup, make your own things, do your own thing pro things products on their website. I'll link their website below and link the links to everything that I got from them. So you're going to need a 26 millimeter pan or any other size pan you want to press your glitter in. The bigger the pan, the more glitter you will need. All right? You're also going to need some something to press it down with. Like, physically press it down. Um, I got this pressing kit from TKB Trading. The idea of finding something to press it down, you need something that'll fit in this 26 millimeter pan and that you can press down with. Something that's hard and it fits in the pan. TKB Trading makes these little pressing things with a handle so you can press them down they fit exactly into the pans you get like a little extra chip to press if you do not want to go that route honestly if you do not want to buy that little kit which was actually about two dollars um but you know shipping and stuff i get it you can use a quarter a quarter fits perfectly in 26 millimeter paints just wrap it in a napkin before you press all right this video may be a little long but i'm going to give you all the information that i can um, anyway, you're going to need that. Now, the next thing you're going to need is some sort of binder to stick them together. Um, when you're pressing loose shadows and glitters alike, you need something to make them stick and make them stay there and not fall apart in the pan as soon as they dry. So, um, there's a combination. You're going to use, you're going to need ice, um, alcohol. Isopropyl rubbing alcohol, um, the higher the concentration, the better. You don't want to use a lot of water in this recipe. Water, um takes a long time to evaporate and it also can cause just it's not really good for your makeup so I have 91% I also use 70% I wouldn't go any lower than that because remember the lower concentration of alcohol the more water it is in it so you want more just as pure alcohol as you can 91% um, is the highest you can get in the drugstore um, I stick with 91%, it's great. So, 91% alcohol. That is going to evaporate and not affect your makeup at all. But you're going to need that to get it wet. The binder that you should use, um, I recommend glycerin. This is drugs, you can get it at the drugstore. It's a skin protecting, you 99%, you can get it at the drugstore. You can get it at Walmart, things like that. Now, people have said with the glycerin method, and I was reading different things that they're... Um, it can cause your glitters to mold. Now, I've done mine fairly recently. There is no mold on my glitters. A lot of people said they didn't have that issue. I think that comes with how you store them and how you treat them and take care of them as well. And the atmosphere, the temperature, and different things for that to happen. Um, yeah, I doubt that will happen. Like, honestly. Like, I can't, scientifically, I can't see it happening quickly. And, like, you know, I just, I don't know. I wouldn't be afraid to do that, though. They use the glycerin. There is a binder, though. TKB Trading, the same company has the pants, sells a binder. A mix, It's called My Mix Press It Binder. And this one, this little bottle was like 4 or $5. They sell a binder that's meant to be used to press things with. However, I like this binder to press loose shadow. For an example, this is one of my Shiro Cosmetics... Uh, shadows from the Harry Potter collection. It was loose, straight loose eyeshadow, and I pressed it in the pan with this. This works well with loose shadow. I do not like it for glitters. I don't know if it's not thick enough. I don't know, but it does not hold these glitters together. I don't know if it's my type of glitter. Excuse me. But it does not hold these glitters together. This is a little bottle. This is the two-ounce bottle I got for, like, five bucks, and I got this six ounces for five bucks um four or five bucks so you get a better value with that and i honestly think it's better to press glitters this the pressing medium is fine for eyeshadow but glitters it's not the business so you also got that okay got your glitter that's your pants. You may want to use like a little bowl to pour your alcohol in. I have a dropper here and you got your glitter. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to press it. It's it's really really easy and um yeah, okay. So, stay tuned. so you want to make sure your area is clean. You want to put down a towel, a paper towel, or I don't know, it's up to you. Um, my thing wipes pretty clean, so I just leave it bare. It's much easier. Okay, so you may want to pour your alcohol in like a little bowl or something. I have this little cup thing with a dropper. I'm going to use a dropper to distribute my alcohol. You may want to do something because pouring it doesn't give you a lot of control. I do the glycerin straight out of the bottle. When I looked at this on, um, I looked at a video on YouTube and a young lady used a syringe. I have one of these to distribute like the drops and it just, it's so much air in it, it'll 
squirt everywhere. Um, it's not really good for that. Like, they would mix their glycerin and alcohol mixture together first and then just use it in the... I felt like that necessarily didn't need to be done. If it's easier for you, the, the recipe I found, it's kind of like I fill up the pan with alcohol and then add, like, two drops of glycerin. Like, you'll see. Um, you got to play with it to find the right mix. Some glitters need a little bit more binder than others. So you have to figure that out. So you got your pan. Alright, so what I do, and you're also going to need toothpicks, something to stir with. I apologize for not telling you that. So, you're going to take the pan, and all I do is fill it up with my dropper um, with alcohol. Probably not fill it up. Probably about three, four, two-thirds of the way there. Whatever, it's a small pan. And then I add two drops of my glycerin. I figure like that's enough for my three drops. I've done three it's not a big deal. You see it kind of separated. You got to mix it well. But I have found if I mix these two together before I add the glitter, it's going to be a clump. Mm -mm. This is just my way of doing it. So we got our pan. We got our glitter. I mean, we got our toothpick. So I take the glitter. This one is a mess anyway. And you got to be careful. Move move at a good pace so you don't want to overdo it too quickly. And you're going to just pour it in the pan. Now, because it's a liquid and glitter is a powder, technically, I guess, it's going to start to absorb it. And all you do is take your Q-tip and start mixing it. Mixing it, mixing it, mixing it, mixing it, mixing it. <laughs> and you're going to press this down. So it's... um. You can put more and you can almost like feel like you're overfilling the overfilling the pan, but you're not. If it gets a little too dry like this, so it's hard for you to mix, you really want to make sure every piece of glitter is coated with your liquid. So if it gets too thick, you can add a little bit more alcohol, as sometimes I have to do. So I'm adding more glitter because I know I'm going to press it down and I want my pan to be full. So, and then I'll add a little bit more alcohol with my dropper. That's why it's good to have a dropper. It's how pretty and sparkly it is already. So you're going to mix this. Make sure you get the edges. Get everywhere. Mix, 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 mix. Mix this up. Mix it up, mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. Okay? Mix, 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 mix. Okay? So you got this good... It can be goopy, a little bit liquidy. The more liquidy it is, the longer it takes to dry, but... You know, it's not bad. So I mix, and once I think it's all coated and I have a good mixture um, with my glitter, I pick it up and I'm going to tap it on the table a few times to get all the air bubbles out and to kind of level it and settle it, okay? Just like that, and then leave it alone. Literally, leave it alone, sit it somewhere to dry. You're going to, I, um, it doesn't take that long. It's less than an hour, like, if you the higher concentration of alcohol, the longer the um shorter amount of dry time. But when it dries, it's gonna look like it's done. Um once it dries, this is a different color. Um, so bear with me, hold on. So you're just gonna sit it, don't touch it, don't try to swatch it, don't do anything. You're gonna mess it up. You gotta leave it alone. So you're gonna let it dry and it'll look. Oh, let me clean this up. So you have a lot of wipes when you do this. It's going to look like this. It's going to look like it's pretty much done. All right? It's going to look like this. I'm talking probably about an hour to be safe. Two hours. The higher concentration of alcohol. There you go. Um, and it'll start to look like this. Just dried. And you're like, well, where's all the liquid? Evaporated. Alcohol evaporates. So then you take your um, pressing tool. If you have a quarter, I recommend like getting a piece of napkin. I'm going to use this wipe. Don't use a wipe. Can't get my napkins out right now. Take a piece of napkin. Let's act like this is my quarter. And all you do is wrap it up in a paper towel first like this and like twist it and then use that to press. But I'm going to show you with my pressing tool because I have it. So you're going to take your pressing tool and you're going to apply. You're going to put it in your pan and you're going to apply pressure. Press, 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 press. Ow. I cramped my thumb. And you're going to press, 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 press. And if it's not fully dry, like, you may see a little bit of liquid come out, you know. That's why, especially with the quarter and you have a nap and you'll see it absorbing. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And once you press it, it's still not done. It's done with your effort. You're going to either, you can sit it in your palate, but leave the palate open to dry. And when dry overnight, if it's, sometimes it's not even dry overnight, probably two days, put it in your palate and let it dry. Let it open, be open and let it dry. And there, your press glitters.
Um, there's nothing else to it. You can do as many colors as you want. Some of these, um, I don't even remember the color combinations. Like, these are all individual colors. But some of these, um, like this one here is a mixture of purple and blues. This one is a mixture of like a light pink, blue. I threw a red in there. Red, blue, purple. That one obviously has more purple. Um, these down here are mixed. This, this is a golden blue glitter. Um, and then once it dries, they swatch just like glitter. Like, they swatch. So you're going to need some adhesive to put them on your eyes to make them stick. Some of them you do, some of, you, some of them you don't. This one's like a creamy glitter right here. Um, and I really think the glycerin helps that. And that's what they look like when they're dry. And this is my favorite one. I'm going to have to do another pan of that. Because it's... Yeah. So... That is it. That is it. If you have, oh, I'm going to stab myself with a toothpick. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about any other products mentioned in this video, any of the techniques or anything else, feel free to leave it down below. I love you all and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.